good afternoon my dear students this is the picture of colposcopy other diagnostic test colposcopy description examination of uh, the cervix with the bright light and magnification of 10 to 40 times done to determine distribution of abnormal squamous secretorium and to pinpoint areas from which biopsy tissue can be taken may be done with the cervicograph graphy photographing the cervix uh, that the uh, instruments insert through the through vagina and can see the cervix uh, uh, clearly nursing and patient care considerations procedure is preferably done when cervix is least vascular Usually one week after the end of the menstrual flow, it should, uh, this procedure should be done. Obtain pregnancy test if patient is within uh, childbearing years and as indicated or married. He explained that the vaginal speculum will be inserted and that the biopsy may be taken causing only slight discomfort. Vaginal speculum is inserted through the through vagina and it may be uh, and taken the biopsy through in that uh, so it may be discomfort for the patient so patient have to be aware of that discomfort help patient to lithotomy position drape her appropriately and provide emotional support throughout the procedure provide distraction techniques such as music and posters likewise hung on the ceiling as appropriate you can uh, distract, you can turn over the patient mind towards that, uh, then you can avoid uh, pain and uh, patient into uh, bear up pain. After the cervix and vagina are swabbed with uh, acetic acid solution and inspected through the colposcope, biopsies may be taken through that. Biopsy tissue is preserved in 10% formalin, labeled and sent to the laboratory. Saline may be used to rinse the area and bleeding may be stopped with silonitrate or teric sul uh, subsulfate, monocell solution or betadine uh, also can apply. After procedure as is patient to rise slowly and give the following discharge instructions. Avoid heavy lifting for 24 hours. There may be some bleeding and cramping. However, more than that of a normal period must be reported to healthcare provider. Obtain healthcare provider's instructions regarding touching and sexual intercourse. Conization description. Excision of a cone-shaped piece of tissue from the cervix. If you remove the cone piece of tissue of the uh, cervix, uh, some kind of uh, complications may arise, including the area where the squamous and column epithelial tissue meet, transformation zone for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. The transformation zone is the area of most cervical cancers. The procedure can be done by a scalpel, laser, or electrosurgery technique. Uh, that uh, cone shaped piece of tissue can be uh, removed through using scalpel, low laser, ultra electrosurgery techniques. Nursing and patient care consideration explain the patient that this test can be a minor surgical procedure that requires local or general anesthesia. Uh, Obtain pregnancy test if patient is within childbearing years as indicated. After session, bleeding is controlled by cauterization uh, or suturing and packing. Cauterization, suturing or packing. Uh, diatomizing. Patient should be observed for several hours after the procedure for excessive bleeding. Uh, excessive bleeding can be occur as a side effect that so you have to Observe for that. Instruct patient to avoid tampons, touching and intercourse at least less not to immerse herself in water, no swimming, hot tub, tub bath for two weeks as OS directed by healthcare provider to allow healing. 
hysteroscopy. Those are the pictures of hysteroscopy through the vagina. Hysteroscope is inserted and can get the image through that uh, hysteroscope or can do the surgeries also, myomectomy, likewise, hysteroscope. Uh, in the um, inside of the uterus can see can be seen through this hysteroscope. In those are the pictures. Contraindications of hysteroscopy. Uh, then what is hysteroscopy? Uh, those are the pictures of hysteroscopy. Biopsy can be taken through uh, this hysteroscopy. Likewise. Uh, description. Hysteroscopic visualization of the uterine cavity used to evaluate endometrial cancer. What are the indications of doing hysteroscopy? Identify endometrial cancer, check tubal patency, patency determine the cause of uterine bleeding, remove polyps or fibroids, and observe the placement and appearance of intrauterine devices. You can identify your, uh, can be seen, I use this in that, uh, through this hysteroscopy. Dressing and patient care consideration. Obtain pregnancy test prior to the procedure if patient is within childbearing years as indicated. Administer prescribed the sedative before the procedure and explain that the local anesthetic will also be injected into the cervix in the operating room. Patient will be assisted into the Lithotomy position and the perineum and vagina will be cleaned immediately before sterile draping. Explain that instruments called sounds are inserted in the cervical canal for dilation before insertion of the stethoscope. Um, uh, well, specular patient should be kept in lithotomy position and then should be uh, inserted the uh, speculum through that speculum. His hysteroscope can be uh, inserted and uh, concentrate solution of uh, then uh, through that uh, you can take uh, biopsies in that hysteroscope. Uh, with the scope in place, a concentrated solution of destrin or saline or carbon dioxide gas is slowly infused into the endometrial cavity to distend it and allow for weaving. Observe patient for several hours and give discharge instructions. Over the counter analgesics may be needed for minor discomfort if analgesic has not been prescribed. Notify healthcare provider of severe cramping or bleeding, fever or unusual discharge. You have to observe excessive bleeding, fever or unusual discharge after the procedure. Endometrial biopsy. Description. Procedure is done with, the, with, with or without local anesthetic to obtain cells from the uterine lining to assist in diagnosis of endometrial cancer, menstrual disorders and infertility. During speculum examination, the uterine sound is placed before uh, followed by a curate or pipe suction device to withdraw specimen. Nursing and patient care consideration obtain pregnancy test if patient is within childbearing years as indicated. Administer prostaglandin inhibitor to decrease post-operative uterine cramping, assist the patient into the dorsal lithotum position and explain procedure, label specimen place in formalin and send to laboratory, inform patient that she may experience light bleeding and occasional cramping for a few days, instruct patient to report fever, chills and increase bleeding, no tampons, touching or intercourse for two to Two to three days. Dilatation and cure that. You may have heard and you may have seen those procedures in theater. Dilatation and cure that. Uh, description. 
This common gynecologic surgery for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes consists, consists of widening the cervical canal with the dilator and scraping the uterine cavity with the curet. Usually this procedure is doing in all the women to identify, uh, usually the, this procedure is doing to identify cancers also, perform to control uterine bleeding, sequo endometrial and endocervical tissue, for cytologic examination and treat missed, incomplete or induced abortions uh, to cervical cancer control uterine bleeding, cytologic examination and or induce abortions, dilatation and cure that uh, test is doing. Nursing and patient care consideration, prepare patient for the procedure, answer questions, request that she void, administer an enema if ordered and administer non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug uh, NSAID or a sedative as directed. Immediately postoperatively monitor vital signs at frequent intervals. Potential for hemorrhage exists. Monitor perineal pads and the bed for amount for bleeding. Report excessive amounts. Ad offer prescribed analgesics for lower back and pelvic pain. Cramping may occur for two to three days because of dilation of the cervix. Instructs patient to maintain decreased cavity activity for remainder of day to decrease cramping and bleeding. Instruct uh, patient to use perineal pads at home and to report fever, heavy bleeding, saturating a pad with one hour more than once, a severe cramping likewise. You have to inform the patient to uh, to see the doctor if there are such complications. Instruct patient to avoid the strenuous activity until bleeding stops. Inform patient that the procedure does not affect sexual functioning but that she should refrain from sexual intercourse, dutching and tampons for at least two weeks according to preference of healthcare provider. Gynecological laparoscopic surgery we have to talk about again. Uh, thank you very much for listening.